Hello and welcome to the Science Ferry. In this video I want to show this radio sonde or radio probe and they get launched with weather balloons to track the weather and collect data. And I found one. You can track them online. There are online trackers and you can follow them and see where they land and pick them up. In my case on a field and I picked this up and took it with me. You can just take it with you. It says on this letter uh, you can take it with you and throw it in the garbage responsively. There are batteries inside and stuff like that. Also thanks for 100 subscribers. I hope this channel will grow more and I hope I will make more videos in the future. And yeah, thanks very much for this. I will probably make more videos like talking, normal talking like this and not fancy editing. But thanks very much for 100 subscribers. So this tiny thing here is actually the whole transmitter. Here is the antenna. And for this size it, it's transmitting like, I don't know, probably 100 kilometers maybe a bit less but it's it transmits pretty far and this is the whole transmitter and it consists of a single transmitter IC you can program this chip uh, to transmit on any frequency and several modulation modes but you have to program it uh, somehow and I unfortunately I don't have any idea how this works but Hopefully I can do something with it in the future because this thing is actually pretty nice and the transmitting range is very high. So this is a very interesting transmitter and it's super small. So this is a pressure sensor I think and you can remove this and it gets connected to this connector and yeah so this is a pressure sensor for measuring how high this thing is and then we have some other electronics I haven't checked what this is this is the GPS receiver and yeah it's there to track the radio probe and with this you can see where it is and the according data to the position. We have some sensors here on this carved out thing and I think that are temperature sensors, internal temperature sensors and if we turn it around we have some more electronics down here down here we have a processor I think and all the data gets processed digitally and then gets sent to the transmitter to this tiny thing and then it gets transmitted out of there and then it gets received from the people launching it from the weather agency or whatever. So if I put the batteries back in there, it actually works. I have here a an SDR stick and a program on my computer to see the signal. And if I press this button, it starts blinking. And not right now it's blinking um, red because there's some fault, uh, probably because the sensor is broken or right now I don't have it connected or because the GPS has no connection but the sensor is not connected so it may be this and if I move this up here you can see the signal on the screen and this is the signal from the radio sound and yeah this is pretty strong you can receive it from a pretty long distance especially if it's up in the air and 
not uh, in some area where it gets absorbed from buildings or trees or whatever. So yeah, it's interesting. This is still working. I can switch it off again and then it stops. But I don't really have any use for this. Um, it's still doing its thing right now. Let's see what I will do with it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video about this radio sound I found and then give it a like or subscribe for more science stuff. Maybe I will do something with it in the future. Until next time, bye.